In this video, we'll discuss an approach to describing bone lesions on x-ray. The SMEC pH approach can be used, which stands for Sight, Margins, Extent, Content, Periosteum, and Healing. We will now go through these individually. S is for Sight. First determine the location of the lesion. Is it in the epiphysis, diaphysis, or metaphysis? This is important as there are lesions which usually involve certain regions, such as osteosarcomas, which usually occur in the metaphyseal region. The lesion seen here is a diaphyseal one. The second S is for size. Large lesions are usually indicative of malignancy. The current lesion is relatively large. M. M is for margins. A well-defined lesion with sclerotic edges suggests that there is a host response occurring, therefore the lesion is likely benign. A lesion with a moth-eating appearance implies malignancy. The boundary of this lesion is well defined, suggesting a more aggressive process. E is for extent. Think malignancy if there's evidence of extraosseous involvement. In this x-ray, there may be soft tissue involvement. One could do an MRI to confirm this. C is for content. The content of the tumour may be indicative of its origin and will assist in the making of a diagnosis. Lesions may appear to be lytic, that is dark or black on x-ray. Fluid fault, where one may see the falling fragment sign, suggesting simple bone cyst. Osteoid, that is containing bone or there may be cartilaginous, which will only be visible if there has been calcification of the cartilage. This lesion here has both lytic and sclerotic appearance to it. Also look for a cloudy appearance of an osteoid matrix, seen in osteosarcoma, and a popcorn appearance of a chondroid matrix, seen in chondrosarcoma. The periosteum can appear to be solid, which suggests a slow growing benign process. Laminated onion peeling, which is typical of Ewing sarcoma, sunburst appearance suggests an aggressive process, and the presence of Codman's triangle suggests a very aggressive malignant process, as seen in osteosarcoma. Here you can appreciate the periosteal reaction and its onion peeling appearance, suggesting a more malignant or aggressive lesion. H is for healing. Sclerosis and healing of pathological fractures suggest that there is a host response and therefore is a benign process. This is not seen in the above x-ray. So the lesion is a large extensive diaphyseal lesion with poorly defined margins, onion peeling of the periosteum and with a lytic and sclerotic appearance. This is typical of Ewing sarcoma. In summary, we have discussed and applied the SMEC pH approach to making the diagnosis of Ewing sarcoma. Remember, SMEC pH. Site, size, margin, extent, content, periosteum, and healing.